mid-February 2021. Here's what we know. It was freezing, below freezing, actually. There was snow and then there was ice. And then the power went out and then went the water. Now you know that the power outages were linked to those extreme cold temperatures because of those so-called rolling blackouts and the water problems were related to that too. But what exactly happened? What caused the massive failure of the Texas power grid? Why were we all four minutes and 37 seconds away from a blackout that could have lasted months? That's what we're tackling in this latest episode of KSAT Explains. We're explaining what ERCOT does, how it operates, its relationship with CPS Energy, why Texas is the only state in the country to be on its very own power grid, and why power generators in the state don't have to make sure that their equipment can stand up to extreme winter weather. Because we know the snow and ice that we saw in February will come around again. And it may not be decades before we see that. And when the time comes, we don't know if millions of Texans will be left again without power and water. But you won't be in the dark when it comes to understanding the Texas power system. Check out this latest episode of KSAT Explains on KSAT.com slash explains or the KSAT TV app. And Sarah, you were saying you and Katie Blake